Guys, this is gonna blow your minds. In a previous video, I discussed everything you need to know about tow angle in Gran Turismo 7. Everything to do with the way the car drives, where it gives you understeer, oversteer, how to dial the car into exactly how you want it to be. Now, some people mentioned in the comments there are other detriments or negatives towards uh, extreme tow angles, and we're gonna test out exactly what they are. So, in real life, too much uh, tow angle will increase tire wear. Let's see, we'll do some tests, we'll see what's going on with that one. And also, extreme triangles may have an effect on top speed of the vehicle. Now, as always guys, we're gonna narrow down the tests, isolate the things we're trying to test, uh, keep control of the things we're not trying to test to see if the results are accurate. So the first thing we'll do, the first test will be with zero toe angle, front and rear. We're gonna be using racing soft tires as those tires are likely to wear out the fastest. I'm going to be on Special Stage Route X, driving only in a straight line, using automatic gears, traction control set to 2, and the tyre wear multiplier set to 50, so we're going to amplify the effects of tyre wear. Now for this test, because it will be automatic gears, that will not play any effect, it will always be the same. Because we've got traction control on 2, uh, we can just floor it off the line, that will not have any effect at all driving completely in a straight line, the driver will not have any effect on tire wear. And guys, when you do see the Easter egg in this video, make sure you smash that like button. Test number one. We're gonna be fully flat out. We're gonna to drive to the final gantry uh, before we go up the hill. We're gonna measure uh, our speed. We've got TC on as we're gonna launch the car right now. Uh, automatic gears, I'm not gonna be changing gear at all. I'm gonna stay in my own lane so no slipstream effects will be present. There is no wind. It's set to be fully reliable, repeatable results. Uh, looking at the tire wear just in front of me somewhere, uh, we'll zoom in at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, flat out now, 312, just building that speed slightly. Get ready to hit that pause button at the final gantry uh, to see what we are gonna be doing. It's 316 kilometers an hour, looks like we topped at 316, we just passed uh, Lewis Hamilton for the lead. And that is the final point where we're gonna take the tire wear measurements. Now looking on the tire wear, I'm saying that's 20 to 25% worn on the rear tires. 316 kilometers an hour is our terminal velocity. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna exit. Only thing we're gonna change is the rear toe angle. So over to settings, car settings, down to detailed settings, uh, down to rear toe angle. We're going to have toe in because that is the most normal thing to do for the rear of the car. I'm going to set it all the way to one and we're going to repeat the exact same test. Start, foot flat to the floor, no input from the driver except to keep the car in a straight line and we'll see exactly what happens. Uh, now one thing I didn't consider is I could maybe measure the time. I may have that in recording. I'll put that up in the video uh, on screen, but I can't remember what, exactly what it is now, but uh, we're good to go. Doing nothing but keeping the car in a straight line. And you can see already we started to scrub a bit of those racing soft tires. Uh, now we are driving in a straight line, but toe in is driving the two rear wheels in towards each other. Uh, 313 kilometers an hour, 314 kilometers an hour looks like we're a couple of kilometers an hour short on top speed and getting to that final gantry now we're going to try and pause it as soon as we hit it just a little bit over but the rear tire wear guys the rear tire wear is significantly more i'm saying that's close to 45 to 50 percent tire wear compared to uh, zero towing angle Top speed is 314 kilometers an hour, so we're losing uh, two kilometers an hour on top speed, which is probably less than I thought it would be. But the significant thing here, guys, tire wear is increased with uh, extreme toe angles, which is, is good to see. It's good to see that GT have this simulated well. Now, I have also compared tire temperatures during this straight line run, and it's only about one degree of tire temperature in it, but it is still having an effect. The tires are being worked harder when they have toe in. Let's see if the front tires have any effect. And we're going to set the front to be toe in one. And then, as always, guys, we're going to repeat the test full throttle, uh, doing nothing except keeping the car in a straight line. I'm going to try and observe what we happen 
uh, what we have for the tire wear in this one. So it launching off the line, it's doing its thing. We're just going to wait, uh, keep the car in a straight line, keep the car in its own lane and see what the top speed is, see what the tire wear is. Uh, now in the other test, tire wear for the front tires was almost nothing. Uh, barely you could see. Now we can see just a little slither of red at the top. So there is more tire wear on the front, but it's not a significant amount. 313 kilometers an hour. Looks like we topped out at 313. So again, we scrubbed a little bit of top speed. Get ready to pause at the gantry. And there we have it. So yeah, the tire wear on the front is also more tire wear the more extreme tire angles you use, but it's less significant on the front, I guess because that's not a driven axle. And yes, we have toe in now, front and rear. We've lost another kilometer an hour, but I can't think, guys, I don't think in the grand scheme of things, top speed isn't too significantly affected, but tire wear and tire temperatures does have an effect when you're using extreme towing angles. If there are other settings in Grand Turismo 7 that you're interested in me to evaluate, test, and try and isolate exactly what they do, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, and the next video you need to watch to know exactly what towing does to the way the car drives is on screen right now.